the example video for the exponential of a matrix. For number one, if we have the matrix A, which equals negative 2, 1, negative 3, negative 1, 1, negative 1, and 1, negative 1, 1, we want to find E to the A. So to do this, um, we remember the formula for E to the A, which is I plus A plus 1 over 2 factorial a squared <clears throat> plus 1 over 3 factorial a to the third and so on. <clears throat> so we expect that one of these powers of a, this is a to the 0, this is um, a to the 1, and a squared a to the third. We expect one of these um, powers of a to be 0. And then, <clears throat> if one of those powers is zero, all the powers beyond that will be zero. Um, and this series here would, um, we say, it truncates. So let's go and find out if or where this goes to zero. So <clears throat> let's look at a squared, which is just a times a. So we just write the two matrices side by side. And to multiply them, we <clears throat> essentially are doing the dot product between the rows and columns. So this is since this is a three by three matrix, or more specifically, since this has a width three and this has a height three, um, our product matrix is also going to be <clears throat> a three by three matrix. So it's going to have nine entries. And our first entry that goes right here is going to be the dot product between this column and this row. So that's going to be <clears throat> 4 minus 1 minus 3. And then our next entry right here is going to be the dot product between um, this column and this row. So it's wherever these um, intersect. This, they intersect at this entry. Um, so that'll give us a value <clears throat> of minus 2 plus 1 plus 3. And then <clears throat> similarly, if we take the dot product between these, these intersect at this. Um, position in the matrix, and that'll give us minus, sorry, um, positive 6 plus, minus 1 minus 3, and if we go ahead and do this for all these <clears throat> different combinations, so if we do this, we get this, I'm sorry, no, that's incorrect. Um, that's when we do this. So it's always going to be the columns of this matrix, or sorry, columns of this matrix times the rows of this matrix. <clears throat> so if we go ahead and do this, I'll just fill out the rest of these. And if we simplify this, we find that a squared equals 0, 2, 2, 
0, 1, 1, and 0, negative 1, negative 1. And this is a squared. So now to find um, a squared isn't 0, so we have to continue our process. Um, we'll go ahead and find a to the third. So a to the third is going to equal a times a squared. So this is going to be a times a squared, which we just found. And um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go through this one in detail, but this one will end up being 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0. So <clears throat> since a to the third is 0, then a to the fourth will be 0, a to the fifth will be 0, and so on. So <clears throat> our formula for the exponential of the matrix. Um, since a to the third and a to the fourth and so on go to zero, our formula reduces to <clears throat> e to the a equals i plus a plus one half a squared. So we can write out the identity matrix. And a. and one half of a squared. And if we add these together, we find that e to the a is equal to <clears throat> negative one, two, negative two, negative one, um, 2.5, and negative 0 0.5, and one, negative 1.5, 1.5. <clears throat>